Okay, let's try plugging in pi over 2. Alright, so for this we certainly need to know our unit circle. At pi over 2, the cosine value is 0, and cotangent will be cosine of pi over 2 divided by sine of pi over 2. So cosine of pi over 2 is 0, sine of pi over 2 is 1, but we get 0 over 0 in determinant form. Alright, so if we think about our bag of tricks of ways to rewrite this so that we can try substitution again, canceling out or dividing out, it's not going to work, there's no factoring to be done, multiplying by conjugates doesn't really make sense. This is not one of our special cases. Um, in this case, we've got to think about how could we maybe rewrite this with some trig identities. All right, so first of all, I'm going to help you see this a little bit. This is cosine x divided by cotangent. And when we divide things, or when we divide fractions, we often change it to multiplying by the reciprocal. So if you do that, you can get it to look like this. And then we need to know the quotient identity. Rewrite tangent at sine over cosine. So now we can use the divide out method. And now that it looks different, um, we can try substitution again. And plugging pi over 2 in for x, the sine of pi over 2 is 1. Therefore, the answer to our question is 1.